Hello everyone and welcome back to another Infinity Kingdom. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we're gonna have the contention of relics. This is like a city capture but a bigger and larger city capture. In less than two minutes we are going to attack this behemoth cave. We are going to take it first. After that we're gonna go to another building once this one is going to be captured. The garrison power is 40,000, 32,000 garrisons. It's definitely going to be a very, very strong building to take down. There's also 104 million world durability. I'm also going to explain how the strategy is to take these kind of buildings down. But first, we have to thank to our sponsor, which is Infinity Kingdom. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Make sure you check the description of this video for a relevant link, how to download the game and various other links. I also post daily videos or almost daily videos on my other channel ronnie gaming make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well for more infinity kingdom content since i have done my first video about game and review there has been a lot of things that has changed my team has grown in power i'm with 27,000 power and i'm also going to unlock tier 3 and i'm just gonna speed this one up just one click speed so the moment that i unlock the level 20 building i have tier 3 troops unlocked this is elite cavalry unlock and elite bowmen unlock because this is what i use on my front line and you notice that my power went up by like twenty thousand. that's because all my tier 2 troops have been upgraded to tier 3 troops so now i can train elite cavalry exactly as it says on the picture or the elite bowmen how is my march power looking i'm at thirty two thousand and three hundred power so now i definitely pack a punch with my march the reset just happened and the behemoth cave action is about to start now the first thing we can do is attack the wall this is a uh, what we all going to do once the wall is going to be down then it's going to be the garrison inside and i'm pretty sure we're going to take one garrison at a time now let's see how much damage i'll be able to do to the wall since i got my tier 3 troops i can't wait to test them out to be honest and going into the city, this is the best way how you can see about your troops. You press the detail over here and every time your building goes up 10 levels, you're noticing the light shieldman, heavy shieldman, then you have elite shieldman at level 20, noble shieldman, and then you have the royal shieldman at 40. And those are tier 5, but hey, that's a long road to go over there. We need to take one step at a time. I also want to give you an invitation to join our kingdom. I'm in Norheim 0011, as you notice the red dot on the top. Make sure you join our kingdom. We are on the kingdom Ruslan because you are able to choose between the three kingdoms, Idvia, Vitas and Ruslan, but we are Ruslan, so make sure you join Ruslan. And as an extra thing, from your settings, when you have the gift code, you just go in and you type legend Ronnie and then you press confirm so you can get your starting gift. Another feature of the game which I didn't show on my previous video is the Mysterium. Mysterium is a very nice way where you can acquire some shards for your immortals and speaking about the immortals I did show my team but I didn't went all the way in so I can show you exactly how did it progress. So they are all level 28 almost 29 which is really great. And Mayu Shitsune is 4 star. I plan to replace Lancelot because I'm very close to summon Harald the third, and I can't wait to start using Harald. My Helen is getting maxed as well and I'm working heavily on Brynhild. This is my water team and I'm also working on the dragon. Work on one team at a time. I realize that that is the best way to work on as you see any other immortals that I use. They don't have any level ups because and by level ups I mean as a start levels not their own levels the reason I increase their own level is just to be able to put more troops so they can gather more resources but the start level is very important as well I've done more guides about this I'm gonna make sure to post a lot of cards on the top regarding more videos or how to power up fast in infinity kingdom make sure you check them out if you just want to see how pvp is happening in infinity kingdom i know for a fact that this player is not our friend so i'm just gonna pop in a attack on him let's see 
I'm gonna use my main team. Let's see how devastating it is. He's level 11. I'm definitely gonna crush him. But I know greens are not friends. I'm just gonna hit him once. That was definitely very devastating. He's burning. Burn, baby. <laughs> oh, and I got a bunch of resources from him. I killed a bunch of his troops as well. And I made some honor points. So that was not in vain in the end. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So while I was uh, busy with my city hitting or PvPing, the guys has started. And the Behemoth Cave capture is just starting. Look at that. The wall is going so fast down 90 million left already 40 minutes and 40 seconds to capture this you see the timer on the bottom we're definitely gonna take this behemoth cave we must take this behemoth cave and let me see the report whoa 400,000 damage to the wall i'm very surprised i'm also pure free to play on uh, this game and this is how far i managed to achieve and i'm very happy with how far i got i'm very excited as well the wall is at 67 million. Holy moly, scrappy holy. This is going down so fast. Let's go ahead and let's keep pounding this wall. One minute and there is 50 million down on the wall. This is insane. This wall is going down so fast, yo. It's pretty wild. But the garrison is going to be the major problem once we get there. And yeah... Well, my troops are returning. I'm definitely going to keep pounding. Everyone is going ham on this city. Go, 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 boys. Go. Let's attack. Let's keep attacking this. Let me claim some of my daily chest and some other stuff while the attack is going on. 19 days consecutive login. Yo. Okay, let's see how this one went. 408,000 on the wall. Still doing a pretty decent amount of damage. Tier 3 troops are definitely an improvement. Let's see. Are we going to manage to get another attack on this wall? I'm not sure, but I pressed attack and it's going to go in regardless. Yo, there's so many garrisons. There's 32 garrisons on each side. Now, what we need to do is make sure that we take one garrison at a time. Holy smokes. Who attacked the garrison so hard? What in the F? The garrisons went down like almost instantly. Well, come on, let me hit one. Why are they so weak? Something is not happening or we are so powerful that we are demolishing this garrison in single attacks. Because look at that, we already have two sides. Victory. I've done a victory. Hey, I killed something. I definitely done something. That's good. And oh my god, we just took the city. The Behemoth Cave is ours. The squad was unstoppable and occupied the Behemoth Cave. This is amazing. That was so fast. Man, our guys are so powerful. And unfortunately, I'm in Bloody Rage and I cannot relocate. So I do have to wait for the Bloody Rage to end. This is what happens when you attack things in Infinity Kingdom. If you're wondering what is the contention of Relic is the way a kingdom can have a king so you have the war heart and you have the buildings around it now the whole point about this is for us to generate as many cubes as possible apparently it says over here that the alliance of the kingdom which wins the contention of relics rank one in energy cubes acquisition and has acquired more than 200,000 cubes can crown a king so how about that but is this the end of the KVK is this the end game event well this is one of them but this is not all there is also migration you can also migrate to other kingdoms so if 0011 seems to be a older kingdom for you they can always join a newer kingdom but like I was mentioning you can also migrate and I'm pretty sure there's going to be KVK in the future kingdom versus kingdom type of events where there's gonna be plenty of bloody battles and action in Infinity Kingdom. So what are you waiting for? Check the description of the video, download the game and come join us on 0011 Norheim or you can also join one of the newer kingdoms if you think that this is very all for you. I do hope you did enjoy this and until next time this is your boy Ronnie signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there my friends.